Hey everyone, I'm about to share with you my personal listing presentation. In Cloud CMA, you can customize this, put them in any order that you want. This is the order that I prefer and the slides that I like. I also add slides in depending on the market conditions. At the end, I have some custom slides. If you're interested in having them, reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to share them with you. I truly enjoy connecting with people, so when I meet a seller, I want to take some time to get to know them, to find out really what their concerns are, what are their fears. I want them to really know that I'm on their side. So I take that time to go over the selling process and what to expect. A typical presentation like this takes about 20 minutes. I'm doing it for you in 10 minutes because there's no interaction between me and the sellers. Know that when you share a presentation with a seller, it's not about you always talking, it's a conversation. My presentation is in five steps. First step is understanding their needs and their desires. What are they afraid of? Step two is getting a tour of the home. So I usually combine the two together. Step three is talking about the new millennium difference. I combine that with step four, which is also talking about their marketing plan and their specifics, where we're gonna advertise for that particular house. Then finally, we start talking about forms, details, and the CMA. I don't get into the CMA until after I show them all the things that I do into marketing their home. Prior to beginning my presentation, I asked the sellers for permission to bring out my tablet and share with them my listing presentation. I acknowledge the fact that it may seem a little corny having a standardized listing presentation. We can stop, have side conversations, and then I know exactly where I left off because I don't want at any point in time the sellers to go, I didn't know that, how come she didn't tell me? Because by having a standardized presentation, I know that I've gone through everything I'm supposed to go through. So here we go. Thanks again for having me over. Like I said earlier, I know this presentation may seem a little corny having a tablet me going through slide by slide, but it really helps me stay on track. This way, if you have any questions, I want you to ask them and then I know where I left off because at no point in time do I want you to say, I didn't know. So my pre presentation is actually in five steps. We've already done the first two. So right now we're going to talk about how I'm going to market and how I'm going to sell your home and why New Millennium is different, that we do things that other companies don't. Then when I'm done with that, we're going to go ahead and talk about the CMA, what your value of your property, what other houses are selling for, and understand supply and demand. And after that, we'll go through the forms and details. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Here we go. Century 21 is the most recognized name in real estate, and I'm sure you'll agree with me. When I talk to people about the company that I work for, I don't have to tell them what I do for a living. And I think that's really powerful, especially in a day and age where people use the internet to do their searches. And they like to go and work with companies that they're familiar with. Some of those small local companies don't have this advantage. Not only are we the number one leader in brand awareness in the United States, we also have a global network of offices. This is really important. We're in a society now where people use the internet to find homes before they even talk to an agent. And you want to be recognized no matter where the people are coming from whether it's Singapore, whether it's Seattle, whether it's Washington, D.C., or Wyoming. It's important to take note that over 50% of the people moving to the Washington, D.C. area are considered long-distance movers. That only underscores how important it is to be with a company that has name recognition the way that Century 21 does. It's also important to have a large footprint in the area that you work in, which is what we do here. We work in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. What I'd like to show you here are some of our awards. Not to brag, but to show you a third-party endorsement. The Cardis Network, they are the largest relocation company in the world. Our NM Relocation work with them. We're one of their primary brokers, which means when they have clients that are moving to our area, they give us the opportunity to help those clients. They have sellers that need to move from our area and go to another area. They give us the listing and we take care of their clients. Many agents and companies play around with the stats to say they're number one here or they're number one there, but the bottom line it's about the client and we happen to be number one and have good endorsements. I shared with you about Century 21 being most recognized name in real estate but I also want to show you here is that not only do we advertise your property on our website so people can see it that way because they recognize us we also work with third-party vendors like Zillow and Trulia and all those other companies because we want to make sure that people see your listings no matter where they're searching on the internet. One of the things that we do for you is we create a unique property website. This is really excellent because this is something that we can put on our social media. You can put it on your personal Facebook page. You can share it with family. You can share it with your neighbors. 
I'm going to market it with my social media, my business page. I'm going to market it throughout. And it's also helpful when people are walking, you know, down the street. And, you know, I, we spent a lot of time earlier talking about you know, buyers coming from all over the world. Well, we don't want to forget about those buyers that are just right next door walking their dog. So when they're walking around, they see your sign up there's going to be a sign rider that they can just click on it and the GPS location is going to find your property that's assigned to it and it'll show up with your personal website. So they'll be able to see the information, all the pictures, whether there's an open house this weekend, how they can reach me. And so it's really handy to have your own personal website in conjunction with sign rider so people can access it. Again, whether it's on the internet or it's somebody walking the dog, we want to make sure that we cover all their bases. We have this really great system. It's called Golden Ruler. It's a measuring success system. Anytime someone visits your website, we can see where our views are coming from. Whether the views are coming from abroad or what particular area within the United States, we'll be able to tell. We can also tell how long they stay on the page. Do they look past the first picture? Do they start spending more time at picture number 17 or 18? We'll be able to get all that data and use that to help us guide us to where we want to put more of our efforts in marketing. Here's a sample of three different ads I did on Facebook using our ad engine. And I placed those ads using the information that I got from golden ruler that helped me decide where am I getting most of my views from when people search through the internet. My next slide here shows you the stats and the frequency of people looking at properties through a company we use called Circle Picks. And what it does, it allows agents that don't have listings of their own to promote other listings and hopefully get calls from them. So our property will be shown on other agents' social media sites. So it's more coverage that you're going to have. Now I've been spending a lot of time talking about social media and technology platforms, but we don't want to forget some of the tried and true methods of selling homes, which are signs, postcards, just listed, open house cards, you know, networking with other agents, being part of the community. I refer to this as data mining. I use our MLS system to find agents that have sold in our area. I use the MLS system to find buyers that are renting in um, communities around us. They already like the community, they're living there, so why don't we invite them to the open house? Data mining is such a big part of marketing. Data mine can actually include different hobbies and interests that people might have. So what are the big things that people in your neighborhood enjoy doing? Well, let's go ahead and find those Facebook pages. Go ahead and make sure they know that our house is on the market. Another part of marketing is the brochures, getting ready for the photo shoot. Here is a photo shoot uh, checklist that I'm going to give you to make sure that we are in tip top shape. I have a stager that I consult with that comes out. She gives us some helpful hints of how we can make sure the house is truly ready. If there's a need for renovation and maybe cash flow is an issue right now, we have a company that's called Curbio and they will help you with having the renovations done and then they will just wait till settlement in order to get paid. We can talk about that a little bit more if you're interested. Okay, so now we're gonna switch gears into negotiations. A strong negotiator knows the direction they wanna go in. They also need to have the ability of reading where the other side is. Most people don't simply make a decision rationally, they act unconsciously and emotionally. An agent who knows that negotiation isn't just about splitting the difference could save you thousands of dollars and an enormous amount of time and energy. I've written lots of classes on negotiations. I've taught hundreds of agents. By not having a strong negotiator on your side, you leave yourself vulnerable for a contract that isn't going to go in your favor. If you're interested in virtual sellings, we have systems in place. Just let me know and we can make it happen. Lastly, I just want to go over an app that I have that will protect you and myself. It's called Forewarn. It allows me to check out buyers who call up and want to see the house that haven't been vetted by another real estate agent. I've been selling real estate for over 30 years. I've been through up markets and down markets and everything in between. If you want an agent who's professional, who knows market conditions, and knows how to use technology, then give me a call.